guys, I hate to tell you. I told you so. <laughs>
kept on the outside. I thought if he didn't get the knockdown in the first round, he wouldn't have looked so dominant because he was playing with the lead. He was playing knowing he was going to go to decision and win the fight. Eliza was going to have to put, throw caution to the wind and try and get the finish in that third round where he ultimately got stopped in the last minute. But nonetheless, what an upset for the leech in his home country. When he's in China, he performs. He performs. I made a video before the event, but I didn't get it out. I'm going to start doing before the event episodes where we talk about the event coming up in just a quick three, four minute video. But I was talking about it in that video. There could have been an upset because this guy performs down there in China. So if you pick the top two China fighters, you could have made a lot of money on that because they were both underdogs. Bay Lee a little bit less of an underdog. But if you picked Lee, that would be big money. So that does it. That wraps up my um, intention of watching this card for casual fans. Those were the two big fights. There was a lot of other good fights for us hardcore MMA fans. But to move on with MMA talk, let's get to some other news that's been circling the media world. We're going to throw it back a bit. I think it was last week, Anthony Rumble Johnson's manager, Ali Abdelaziz, who manages tons of MMA talent, decided that Anthony Rumble Johnson was going to be coming out of retirement to return for the heavyweight division, hopefully in 2020. Now, what do I think about that? I think Anthony Rumble Johnson got out of USADA, started that, started the steroids. Now he's got to wait a year and try and uh, balance the fact that he was on testosterone because this guy got fucking jacked. This guy is a beast. Um, I think that's going to be an issue for him. I think he's going to be, he's going to have less of a gas tank than he did when he got choked out by DC. So we're going to see how he does in a heavyweight division that's even more stacked than that light heavyweight division. So Anthony Rumble Johnson's going to be returning. I want to wait until we see who his opponent is before we start making predictions. But if you throw him in there with Francis Ngannou as his first fight back in the heavyweight division, if you're a Rumble fan, I'm sorry for your loss because he's going to get knocked out. Next up on the list, Alexander Gustafson, another light heavyweight who retired recently, has decided that he has an interest in coming back to fight as well. Sees the matchup with Luke Rockhold. Everybody should see that matchup with Luke Rockhold and go, I'm down to fight him. Uh, uh, knock out of the night. I want the bonus. Luke Rockhold, I don't know what his plan is next, but Gustafson says he wants to come back and fight Luke Rockhold. Uh, that would be the lowest of the low for, um, for Gustafson to come back and do that fight. Uh, he's coming off a loss to Jan. I don't know what Gustafson would want from that fight other than just a payday. I guess you could say that's what it would be. He says he's interested in returning, so that's another superstar that's going to be coming close to returning. As for the future, this weekend we have UFC 242. We'll talk more about it in a before-the-event episode, as I mentioned before. Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0, takes on Dustin the Diamond Poirier, who's on a five-fight win streak. I think he's like 7 or 8-1 and one in the lightweight division ever since he's moved up from featherweight. This is going to be a fun fight. We'll talk about it before the event. But that will do it for today's MMA talk. I just wanted to come at you guys with letting you know to remember the name Zhang Wei Li because she is a savage, a savage, savage. If you enjoyed the video or enjoy any of the content you see here on the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. We're out here all the time making videos for you guys. You know what it is on here, Combat Sports Central. If you guys enjoyed, remember, smash that like button, subscribe, and peace out, guys.